Hello, wonderful people. Hello. We are second day on the, this island, bird island, Runde. Runde. So this day was a day without riding. That's why we are uh, on a foot tour. We are taking our time and enjoying the island. We took the boat tour with awesome guide. He knew about it from camping owner. Uh, so he told us about this possibility to, to take this tour. We decided to do it and this was a very good decision. <laughs> we really, really recommend to you that uh, to take it. We began in the in the dock when we got uh, aboard <laughs> on the ship. The boat tour is all around the island. First, we go under the bridge, which is really high. I have to give away all food in stomach for it. And then our tour guide showed us puffins, which is this island I think most known for. Uh, there are thousands of them. We found the best uh, week, I think. Uh, to this visit this island. This is the last week when we could yes. see them. Yes, because uh, the guy told us that next week they are flying away. So if we will come here next week, they will be gone. Yeah, we are lucky. <laughs> then after we got near the cliffs and there is even a cave. Maybe it's not so deep, but <laughs> it does the job. <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Above this cave, there are another place that uh, this island is known for. It's called the Bird Rock, and there are thousands, thousands of birds nesting there. They were flying all, uh, all above us, screaming. So you have to see it and uh, hear it by yourself. So we we can describe it. But tour is really amazing. We really we enjoyed it, yes. and you will be too. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust us, really. And there uh, is a lighthouse and we are going there now. It's going to be a pretty long tour. This, this lighthouse is there. And our camping is right there. It's so, behind this. Yes, it's rarely, rarely visible now. So this was a pretty nice day. And tomorrow we are riding further. And uh, when we got to the lighthouse, we'll talk a little about it because uh, it's also an interesting story. And uh, ah, and one more thing: the last uh, attraction with uh, the guide was feeding the seagulls. He placed a piece of bread on his head. The seagulls flew above it, grab it, and fly away. And there were, I think, hundreds of them. Even one guy lost his hat. Tried to feed uh, seagulls by himself. Yes. But he didn't have uh, this perfect hat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was grab the hat, take it out. So we had to turn back, grab the hat from the water. <laughs> so we are above the lighthouse now down there and we are not going to to, to go especially down uh, here is better view quick uh, story there is a metal round something and this is old lighthouse and people who work there had a problem because when the well here was a stormy weather the water flows over it so they couldn't go out and go in so they have to wait inside the lighthouse until all is over so 100 years later they built another lighthouse which is down there this is white one it's huge and this closest building but now all lighthouses in Norway are automatic like yes automatic so they don't need uh, people to work there anymore and the houses which are there you can rent them and spend uh, a night in them so enjoy the view and we are seeing you on the next episode i think <laughs>